What's up guys? We've seen before how to calculate uh, stoichiometric uh, equations for continuous flow systems in gas phase. So let's do an exercise about that. And we're going to manipulate the equation and they tell you show under what conditions and manipulation, I suppose, what kind of math do you use for the expression of concentration of B for a gas flow system that reduces to that given in table 3, 5. So first of all, we're looking for concentration of B, which is this one, this here, and this here, which is the same as this one, which is the same as this one. So how do we get this value? That's what they are asking us. So let's do it. First thing first, remember the concentration of B at any moment is flow of B divided by volumetric flow rate. Or if we send this one multiplying, we get flow of B equals this here. Now from stoichiometry tables, remember that that's in function of concentration, we can change it. We change flow of B equals initial flow rate of A, this fancy function, the, since it's a reactant, it's negative, and the stoichiometric value B divided by A times the conversion. Now let's suppose you have this one, let's substitute this is equation number one into we got concentration of B times volumetric flow rate, which is this part, equals F of B, and this is F of B. So let's put this F of B here and send away this again. And one thing, first probably you want to force this to be concentration of A, but it is not because this is not an initial value. So because it is not an initial value, you know that f of a at the initial is not the same as this here. Because they are not the same. So we cannot say it's concentration. Actually, we will need to find out this volume equation. Hopefully you remember it. It's the pressure changes, the C changes, the temperature changes, and the volume change here. Now, if ideal gas, take away that C and substitute this in equation number three, which is here, right here. So we want to substitute the values here. And we got this. Mm, this huge equation's down, and this stays the same here up. Now I want to change this up, so take them up, up, up here. And this time we can do this. We can force the concentration because we both are initial so this is concentration of my initial value because we have initial here and initial here before we couldn't do that because this was not the initial value this was the volumetric flow rate at any moment or at that conversion but right now we can do it so this is the concentration we got here now this is the exactly the same here I just changed this from here to here and I stay here with this value here, which is the value they wanted me to prove. It's here. The, te uh, the temperature and pressure changes, this value, the concentration I told you about, and this right here. And that's how you get them, guys. It was so easy, this example. I like it because it helps you to work out with these numbers. And at the same time, it's good for you because you get to use the table I told you. I didn't like it much, but we use it. And that's everything, actually. If you want more problems, we can check it them out here. Go to this, wait for it, to this web page here. And go to courses, reactor engineering, solve problems. I got some solve problems there, check it out. And go to chapter 3, rate loss. I got problems in rate loss and stoichiometry how to apply all those tables and yeah guys let me cut this and check it out what's up guys it's me chemical engineering guy so if you like the video why not push the like button it really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, 
colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher and the engineer get the best of each other. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.